I hope to make this a really quick video today just to give you a look at my brand new Kelsey by Envy in the color Silky Beige, which is one of their brand new shadow colors. This is Envy Kelsey. If you remember, I did a full review on Envy Kelsey last year and it was in the color Light Blonde. And until now, that was the only light blonde that was available by Envy and it was not a rooted color. So when they came out with these brand, brand new shadow colors, they have some beautiful light blondes with a root. And I selected Silky Beige because I feel like this is the rooted version of the light blonde that Envy has and still has. Because when I reviewed this originally, I really wished they had a very light rooted blonde to choose from because there are some features about Kelsey that I feel like a root would really help me make it look a little more natural. Kelsey is a very dramatic, short, curly, A-line bob with lots of curl, lots of volume. It's very distinctive style. And it's an open cap style. This wig has a ton of permatease in it, as you can imagine. It's meant for volume. It's meant for the drama all the way around. So there's a lot of permatease there to support that. But depending on how much fiber is actually sewn in, you might be able to see down into the look of permities, which was the case with my original Kelsey. And I explained that you had to do some a really strategic styling in order to cover up the look of nesty permities. Rooting is another way to help disguise permities. So I was really excited and had to order this in a rooted color to see if there was a big difference. Uh, Kelsey is quite a cantankerous style. You have to let Kelsey have her way or she will have her way with you. <laughs> you have to go with the flow on a style like this. Now, every one that I explore is a little bit different as we can see variances from piece to piece. Uh, it was quite ornery around the face. I actually had to spray it down and let it sit on a wig rack in order for it to dry. And it actually settled a little bit in order for me to get a parting space out of it. But when it first came out of the box, it was just all over the place. And I can imagine how daunting that would be to especially some of the first time wig buyers that really like the style on people that they see wearing it or the product photo, but then when they get it, you know, it, it looks like a mop that cannot be tamed. So does this rooting camouflage the permatease? Yes, it does to an extent, okay? Uh, this color, silky beige, is a combination of some platinum, some light ash platinum with some beigey type highlights, some watery light beige highlights. It's a neutral platinum overall, and the root is dark. It's a dark, it's a medium to dark brown root. That root stands in great contrast to this blonde color. If there was one wish that I had when they thought of these colors was that these light blondes need a lighter root color. That's not what we got though. Um, in fact, we got a dark brown root, but not only that, it's a very long one on this style. Holy cow, look, it's all rooting effect up here. It's dark brown and it just engulfs the entire crown because that root is so long. This is longer, the root on this one is longer than the other styles that I have seen in these rooted colors, so I don't know why. Does it disguise the permatees? It does, but when I get it styled just right, it's cute. It's as cute as a button. It's easy to wear. I don't have to worry about lace monofilament. It's, affor it's affordable. And it goes beautifully with all of my clips and things, my square bands and my clips. Because when people see you from the front, they see a curly, you know, a curly bob. But then as you start to rotate and they see you from the back, they're like, wow, <laughs> look at that. There's such a dramatic A-line effect. So that front piece is around 11 inches. We're at about eight to eight and a half on the crown. And that boils down into a 1.75 inch nape. Lots of drama here, right? That crown kind of overlaps the back 
and it gives a very dramatic ledge effect in the back, a, a unique and dramatic A-line profile here. And what I love about this style, and I realized this very quickly when I first explored it, was it's like an instant updo. So if I had a long curly style like this, what would I do? I would take it and I would put it in an updo. Well, with Kelsey, you don't have to do that. It's already up. <laughs> it's already up.